Hello everyone, you are watching Edupedia World Videos. We are learning PowerPoint and my name is Neeru Varma. Topic for today's discussion is PowerPoint Environment. We will be understanding the PowerPoint Environment in this session and we are going to discuss about the terms used and the tools used. There are certain questions that keep coming in our mind. And those are, where is the slide? Where is the zoom control? What is a backstage view? And where is the note section? And the most important is, from where do I get the help in case I got stuck? So we'll try to find out all the answers in this session. We are going to discuss about certain terms and those are title bar and quick access toolbar, tabs and ribbons, the group areas, slide areas, slide tab and outline, slide views, the backstage view, zoom options, note section and help. So let's start and discuss about title bar first. Let me show you the area of the title bar. This is our title bar, the topmost area. This is the top section of the windows and this shows the name of the file followed by the name of the program. So in this case, we can see here, name of the file is PowerPoint environment and name of the program is Microsoft PowerPoint. This is your title bar. All right, so the next is quick access toolbar. Quick access toolbar is located above the ribbon. This is your ribbon area this one the file home tab insert so this is located above the ribbon and it allows you to access some common task and it doesn't matter on which tab or in which group you are on means you can select any of the tab but the quick access bar is as it is there are certain commands that you can use on your slide irrespective of on which tab you are on the three common commands of the quick access bar is save, then we have the undo option and redo, the repeat option. You have three options on the quick access bar. That is the save option. The second one is the undo option and the redo. That is repeat. So these are the three common commands that are placed on the quick access toolbar. If you want, you can customize the quick access toolbar as well. I'll show you how you can customize the quick access toolbar. You can right click anywhere in any tab or anywhere on the ribbon area. You will get an option, customize the quick access toolbar. Click on this option and you will get a box in front of you. There are a set of commands here on the left hand side. You can select any of the command, for example, suppose email or font, anything that you want to add in your quick access toolbar. Select the command and click on add. In the similar way, let's add one more, for example, email. Click on add. All right. Now click on OK. Now you can see that two more commands has been added here in the quick access toolbar. One is the email that we have added and second one is the font. You can click on the drop down and you will get the entire list of the fonts. So in this way, whenever you find some command is the repetitive one and you want to add in the quick access bar, you can customize your quick access toolbar and add the command there. And there is one important property about the quick access toolbar is suppose you have selected any ribbon, any tab, you are somewhere else. You can access the commands directly from here because this is a kind of static bar that appears on the screen. 
if you click on any tab then the group options the commands that is keep changing as per the ribbon options so this is the quick access toolbar is a kind of bar which is static in our program and that give you the options to select that give you certain commands that you can add anywhere on the system so that was it that was about the title bar and the quick access toolbar we'll be discussing about the tabs and ribbons in the next session thanks everyone thank you for watching edupedia world videos